In management matters, CSC and SRA, it's arguably the biggest M&A deal of the summer. Here to break it down is Nick Wakeman, Editor-in-Chief of Washington Technology. Nick, give us the nuts and bolts of this deal. Yeah, CSC and SRA are two companies with long histories and legacies in the, in the federal market. And uh, CSC is, is buying SRA. They're, they're spending about $390 million in cash. They'll go to SRA shareholders. And then they're also assuming about a billion dollars in SRA debt. And it, it, at the end, it'll create a company with $5.5 billion in annual revenue and 19,000 employees. And they'll have you know, scale and, and uh, capabilities that, that neither company had before. And they'll be really be ready to kind of go after some new opportunities in the market. Now, there was a lot of speculation about the future of Computer Sciences Corporation. Not anymore. You write, the acquisition of SRA also should dispel the rumors that CSC was splitting off its government business to make it an easier takeover target for other buyers. Now, you use the word acquisition. Some called it a merger. Which one is it? Well, you know, the companies want to talk about it as a as a merger, but really it is, it is an acquisition. I mean, some uh, SRA shareholders well retain some uh, equity in the company, but it's really only 15%. CSC shareholders will own, you know, 85%. Um, and CSC is paying the $390 million to, to, to buy the company. But when you look at it another way, more I think from like the cultural aspect of it, that's where you may see a merger. I mean, both companies have, you know, best practices. They have good leadership. Uh, the, the new name of the company, because CSC is splitting itself, and the commercial business will be known as CSC, so there'll be a new name for this new entity. And they've been telling me that it's going to take the kind of the legacy of both, that you'll be able to see this new name and see some of CSC and, and SRA. So I think on sort of those softer issues of, uh, of the culture and, and philosophy, it may be a merger, but really financially it's a, it's a takeover with CSC you know, buying SRA. Now, Nick, you mentioned this split will be complete in November. They're not the first public sector business to take that approach. How does the SRA acquisition factor in here? Who are they going after? Well, I think, you know, on the competitive landscape, I'm not sure necessarily their competitors will be different, but I think uh, the CSC-SRA combination will be a tougher competitor. They'll have, uh, you know, each company brings with it, you know, certain strengths and, and capabilities, you know, SRA, you know, they've told me has very strong business development. CSC is better at winning the larger uh, capability, larger opportunities. So I think you'll see them positioned, you know, to be more more competitive in the marketplace. And you have to also have to remember that some companies, particularly Lockheed, is kind of pulling out of this IT services space. So CSC is making the argument they're going to be the largest pure play IT services company in the market. Now this is a pretty unique deal by M&A standards. It was driven by scale rather than cost savings. Explain that for us. Yeah, it's really it's really pretty interesting because you have to think about both of these companies three and four years ago were at the start of turnaround uh, phases in, in their history. They were really struggling quite a bit. So both of them have focused a lot on taking out costs, becoming more efficient. Uh, they've been, some, been investing in new technologies. But that cost efficiency really shows itself in this merger, you know, they're creating a $5.5 billion company, but they say they've only found $51 million in savings, which tells me that they've done about as much as they can do as far as getting more cost effective and efficient. Um, you know, sure, we'll see some, you know, back office things go away and some real estate consolidations, but, but really this deal is about being, you know, getting the scale and being more, uh, more about growth and, and, and pushing out into, into new areas for both of these companies. It's good to get the latest from you. Nick Wakeman, editor-in-chief of Washington Technology. Thanks, Nick. Thank you.